Hi there, it's Tim with Far North Magic. Today I'm trying another collector booster box of Commander Masters. Now we're into the pushing my luck category <laughs> of uh, the program. So I'm going to give this a try and see how disappointed I can get. Um, because the last box was pretty good um, overall, at least for a box that I've opened. And uh, I probably should stop, but here we are, opening another. We are gunning for something big, ending up with some bulkers. Starting off with pack one, if I can get in, or not, oh look okay. maybe not, we got Kadama's Reach, Pollen Bright Druid, Sulphurous Blast, Heart Piercer Bow, we got an Arcane Signet, Amuu, Loyal Companion, we got a Plains, we got another Kadama's Reach, We've got a Path of Ancestry. We've got a Frantic Search as the Foil Borderless. Hey, there's a Spellseeker. That's a nice one. Hey, there's a SWAT. Capricious Sliver in Foil. Those are kind of hard to get. We've got a Rejuvenating Spring and a Vault Champion. So double land pack with a Monarch token. So, but also getting a SWAT in Foil, that's pretty solid. And the spell seeker. Hmm. Actually, I haven't looked to see what it how it's doing, but uh, it was one that surprised me how much it was before the reprint. Okay, on to pack two. We got Sunblade Angel. Holy cow, that's a lot of abilities. Command Tower, Unbound Potential, Renowned Weaponsmith. We got a Zada, Hedron Grinder, Annex, Hardened in the forge got a swamp we got a reliquary tower frantic search oh there's an arcane signet first one of the special art got oh no stitcher giraffe days undoing downshifted from mythic skittering cicada uh, hey there's deadly rollick in the borderless and, and rejuvenating spring in the foil. So, oh, and the Eldrazi spawn token. So, okay, so we got a couple free spells so far. That's really solid. And a couple lands. So, let's see if we can do get some cool stuff. We got Witching Well. Thriving Grove, Knighted Mirror, Makeshift Munitions, we got the Victimize, Slimefoot the Stowaway, we got a Mountain, oh no, there's another Slimefoot, Sighting. All That Glitters, we got Kadama's Reach in the Foil, Vindictive Lich, oh there's a Machaeus, the Unhallowed in Etched, Descendants Fury, as the commander card. We've got Tooth and Nail. And we got Grenzo. Uh, Havoc Razor. Hmm. Okay, one last try. Uh, that pack kind of wasn't that great. Find it. You get two, I don't know, small sample size, but you get like two really bad packs and two decent to good packs. But uh, Cryptic Serpent, Fierce Empath, Dread Drone, Living Lightning, Loyal Unicorn. We got the Thought Vessel, we got a Mountain, we got Dread Return, Storm Kiln Artist, Counterspell. 
Morophon the Boundless as the foil. Oh no, it's a chainer. Dementia Master in Hatched. Hey, there's a Descendants Fury. These foils are kind of tough to get. Oh, there's an Azusa Lost But Seeking. Ah, oh, that's a nice hit. In the close, we got a Jeweled Lotus. Not textured, but still very nice. Jeweled Lotus foil. So, very nice. I guess the texture is slightly different, so from the way the I've seen in videos. So I guess that's kind of how I'd want it. Like, but I think magic isn't a thing where like a, a foiling or something that's going to get like diminished by being in a sleeve is helpful. So to be super collectible, but I think that was a really, really solid box. Uh, especially because it was one that I got on sale. So getting the, without the Lotus, it would have been a kind of a disaster because like the SWAT, Morphon, uh, Rollick and stuff isn't enough to be super exciting uh, alone. But uh, with the Lotus being, I don't know, last card, some of these times when I'm opening boxes, last card bails me out. So um, maybe I'll push my luck further. I know I should probably <laughs> just stop, but uh, we'll have to just see where we go and uh, go from there. Thanks again for stopping by and watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and take care. See you next time. Bye.